Okay, so now we're going to take a look at some of the Visual Studio tools for uh, debugging multi-threaded apps. Uh, the, these tools can help you if you're running into issues uh, that are specific to multi-threaded apps like uh, deadlocks and race conditions. And some of those tools are the parallel stacks window, the parallel watch window, uh, and uh, thread markers. What we have here is a very simple app that just goes out and uh, creates a bunch of threads. And, uh, and then each of the threads goes off and does some work. So we'll just hit uh, start debugging here. And uh, there's a bunch of calls to console.writeline, and then the app hangs. So uh, we're going to try to use some of the Visual Studio tools for uh, debugging these app types to, to take a look at what's going on here. So uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, stop the app and restart. We'll set a breakpoint on thread.sleep. Uh, hit F5. So we get to this point uh, in the app and, um, and we're paused in the debugger. So we want to know what's going on with the thread. So uh, we open, we'll start with the parallel stacks window. And this uh, shows us right now there's your main thread, and then there's, there's another thread running in this function. The yellow marker indicates that that's our currently executing thread, and that corresponds to what we see over here on the left. And uh, we'll advance the debugger a little bit and see what happens. And then we see more threads appearing in the parallel stacks window. And so we've got th four threads now. Three of them are in Secure the House, and one of them is calling some external code. Now we want a, a, a more exact information about where these threads are running. So we're going to click this Show Threads in Source uh, button. And that gets us over here. And we, we can see over here these, these are called thread markers. And this, uh, when you hover over these, that will give you the uh, the name and ID of each thread. And if we look at these ones over here, we find two threads are over here. So uh, it's, it's helpful for uh, debugging uh, race conditions and deadlocks to, to really be able to see where each thread is in your app. And uh, another thing we want to look at is the parallel watch window. Uh, in this window, you can take a look at uh, your variables and see the value they're holding for each of the different threads. So we'll type in a couple of variables here. You see that each thread has a value of 4 for the current key set, and each thread has a different value for the actual keys that it's holding. And um, when, from these different views, there's different things you can do that uh, can be useful, like um, you may have an app that has an awful lot of threads, and you may want to flag some of them so you don't have to have to see all of the threads uh, when you're when you're looking at this information. So if you flag one of them, you can click this "Show Only uh, Flagged Only Flagged Threads" uh, button, and then uh, your views will change to to show only the thre threads that you're interested in. So. Uh, Another thing you can do is sometimes to debug race conditions, it can be helpful to control the order of execution of the thread. So you can do things like uh, freeze and, un and thaw your, your, your different threads. So if you right click on this thread, you could choose freeze. And uh, that may be a case where you don't want that thread to run. You want to see instead what another thread is doing when it, uh, when it one runs through a certain region of code first. And, uh, and let's, let's take a quick look. Set a couple uh, breakpoints on these lines of code. So um, basically, if you step through this code to these different uh, breakpoints, what you find is that um, uh, your, your app will, will hang on uh, these different functions. So some of the threads are stuck on this lock gate call. Uh, one of them got into this code and is on thread.sleep. You're going to find that um, 
the, the same behavior repeats each time and your app is going to get hung at the same point. The doors object is held by one thread and the gate object is held by another thread and, uh, and you won't, you won't be able, your app won't be able to continue because of these uh, objects that are, that are locked. Um, and uh, just another uh, trick here is uh, a lot of people don't know that you can, if you want, uh, follow a single thread through your app. Uh, you can do that by setting conditional breakpoints or filters uh, within conditions on your breakpoints, and you can do that uh, in order to break into uh, into a, a single thread that you're more interested in. So, actually, let's clear all the breakpoints first. Set that condition. Keys equal house keys. Now restart the app. And see now your app breaks into this code, but only it's only broken in on one thread. So you won't be able to see uh, what's going on with the other. You won't be able to follow the other threads in the debugger. So if you uh, step through code using F11 or F10, you're only going to see the one thread uh, for which you set the conditional breakpoint. Um, and the debugger is not interested in the other threads at this point. So uh, that's something that people don't know. They, a lot of times they want to follow one thread and they're not too sure how to do it. But if you want to, um, you can set a, a conditional breakpoint on the va value of a variable that might be unique to a thread, or you can uh, set a filter condition for a specific uh, thread name or thread ID. And uh, to set a filter, you would go down to here and choose thread name or thread ID. And uh, that's about it. Uh, there's also the threads window. If you prefer a, a list view of your threads, it gives you information such as the thread name and thread ID, but we're not gonna look at that right now. We're gonna go on to uh, the next video instead. Thank you.